My name's uh, Bill Larkin. I've been known as Crazy Bill now <laughs> for quite some time. I don't have an official name. Uh, some of the people that were here this week were from Anderson, and I said, okay, how in the hell did you find this place? And they said, well, all you got to do is on Google put birdhouses and Lagodi, and it'll bring you right to your house. 1996 is when I moved here. And I thought, boy, there's no color here. Nothing. So I started building flower boxes and planting flowers. And each year I would plant or make more boxes and more boxes. And then I retired in 2003. And then I like doubled. I mean, I had lots of time to have fun. And so I, I got up to where I had about 30,000 annual plants here. It was quite the sight. And I had a few birdhouses on these uh, wooden racks that are outside were built for hanging baskets. They weren't built for birdhouses. And so I had the top shelf, I thought, looks awfully bare. So I started putting buying birdhouses and putting them up there. And then in 2011, we got this drought. And I mean, all I did was water. Oh, most of them were impatience and other flowers that needed a lot of water. And I thought, this is no fun. I can't even go to the grocery store hardly. So I quit at the end of the year. And I thought, what am I going to do? So I thought I'm going to have a lot of spare time. So I thought I'm going to make a lot of birdhouses this winter. And I thought, well, this will put a lot of color out there. I won't need the flowers. So I put the 800 birdhouses outside and I looked around. And probably got them uh, all outside by middle to late April that year. And I thought, okay, what are you going to do the rest of the summer? You won't be watering. What am I going to do? I think I'll paint some rocks. I mean, you know, it's. For just it's just one old single guy out there doing it. It's not you know. I don't, everybody says, "Well, how many people do you have working for you?" I says, "There ain't been nobody help me." 2014, I got a few rocks to start with, and I thought that's it. I can't do any more rocks, so I just built birdhouses year round. I was building 1,200 birdhouses a year. <laughs> and I thought I was using other people's property to put them on. I, you know, they didn't care really. And I thought, gosh, I think it'd be more fun to give the birdhouses away. So uh, I think I, the big ones that I built, I think I gave away 900. Now, I really wasn't into doing the little birdhouses very much, but a lot of people says, well, we can't. We want a birdhouse, but we don't want a big one. So I know this last year. I think I bought over 30, over 3,000 of the little ones and gave them away. And I only made, a, because of my knee being bad and everything else, I think I only made and gave away 600, little over 600 of the big bird houses. They've been wanting to buy them all along, and I just, I don't want to sell nothing. <clears throat> so I started giving bird houses away, and then they would tell their friends, and then their friends would come and look at the place and get a free bird house, and it just has kind of gotten, uh, I, I have a lot, Probably the last two summers, I've had over 5,000 people each summer. Well, I, I've really kind of found a better thing to do, and I can go up to visit my grandkids if I want to and just put a sign on the door, you know, I'm sorry, I don't have to water flowers, I'm leaving. F free birdhouses on the porch. <laughs> So many people would retire and they, they want to do the same thing after they retire. And I think, that is so silly. Try to do something different.